Hi everyone and welcome for this tutorial how to custom an orc. Uh, so this is a project test because I'm going to uh, use some magic sculpt I never use. Uh, the green stuff you I already use but it's always cool to use with uh, the role maker from uh, Green Stuff World. Thanks to Green Stuff World who sponsored this um, tutorial by uh, send me uh, all of this project. At the beginning I just uh, prepare all the piece uh, to be sure everything is clean and I remove all the mold line. I use different bits from my bits box and this one comes from, uh, from Necromunda, uh, probably the Goliath and I use it because it totally uh, features uh, with uh, the Mechano boys I want to do with the custom force field. I use the legs from uh, the knob bo box and the torso from the boys uh, box. This arm comes from I don't know where but it's come from my beats box and now I'm going to remove this part uh, from the first arm just to put the uh, weapon I already prepared on the other arm. As you can see, I clean the surfaces to have something totally flat to be sure that's going to fit directly. And um, as you can see, I always use the glue for plastic. It's really important because it's going to merge the elements uh, uh, and it's going to be very, very, very strong. Take care when you put that I always check as you can see if everything is a good direction have the good angle just to be sure it's going to be natural when everything is glued I don't hesitate to put a little bit more glue if I need to be sure everything is merged and it will be really really more easy for me after that to continue by adding for example this custom force field in the back I see it's going to not match perfectly so I remove a little bit uh, plastic just to be sure I'm going to have any uh, some surfaces in contact and the glue will be more easily um, strong in that way. If you uh, want, you always can put just a little bit point of super glue in the same time as the plastic glue. So you have, you will have um, first point, to, uh, first point of glue. We will fix directly, and you have just to wait a little bit. The different surface merge perfectly. I continue now, uh, so we are going step by step and the first step uh, I'm going to use some magic sculpt uh, just in order to fill the different gaps and be sure that these different gaps will be totally uh, filled uh, in order to continue. For that I'm going to use magic sculpt. It's the first time I use magic sculpt, it's pretty interesting because it's similar to milliput but it's more easy to use in my way take care when you use that take care and focus about having uh, wet tools and the totally dry surfaces so it will be more easy to put your stuff to put the magic scoop and after that to clean with always a wet color shaper just to clean the surfaces and to have something totally clean When I use the color shaper, uh, the first way is to clean my surfaces to have something the more flat I can, just to have something clean for the next step. Now I'm going to make some kind of sausage with my stuff just to put into the different recesses and once again in order to fill the different crap, the different gap I have on my minis. By the way, I'm going to use different kind of form with my magic sculpt, depending on the gap I need to fill. And now I remove my different elements to merge them between each other. You can add more muscle just to be sure everything is going in the same direction and totally clean always in the same way take care 
always a wet surfaces, a wet tools and a totally dry surfaces. Now I am going to use some sausage and I put this with my tools and I make it totally flat to create this element. I need to make this back, uh, backpack strap just to be sure it's going to make a relation between the backpack and the body and after that I'm going to add a small uh, rivet just flat or round depending on what you want if you want something round you just have to put a little bit round um, magic sculpt if you want something flat you just have to put your tools a little bit wet to make it more flat Take care when you create this kind of surface to have something very angular so you it will be more easily to make clear distinction between your different elements. So the distinction between the different elements is a key uh, when you make your, uh, yourself some <coughs> custom so take care about that. Now I'm going to uh, make directly my small elements on a base and when it's going to be a little bit more dry the magic scope is going to be more and more strong so I can remove it directly with my exacto and put on the miniatures I take care when I put this I start to making uh, the folds of clothing directly uh, with at beginning with my different tools so, so I beginning with my metal tools and after that with directly with my color shaper so I'm going to create a belt for that I'm going once again after that to flat uh, sausage of me um, of magic sculpts and put this on my sculpture after that I'm going to make better form directly once again with my color shaper I don't push a lot because uh, the magic sculpt is a little bit dry but not totally so it's not necessarily enough strong so I just push a little bit with my color shaper to create my different angle it's pretty interesting and fun to create your own miniature sometimes so I that's always beginning by this kind of way now I'm going to use the roll maker so I make a sausage with some green stuff I mean the green stuff is more easily to do this kind of effect and I just have to pull and the different elements will, will come and I just have to take this sausage and I put in the good direction on my miniatures the different elements with that you can make easily different kind of sausage <laughs> to, uh, to make it and uh, to have very very large uh, kind of element you can add step by step here is the result so thanks for watching don't hesitate to ask if you have any question in the comment you can support me on patreon and you will have access to a special a secret private group on facebook so you can show me your stuff and we are going to make some contests to push you to paint more and in a better way Thanks again for watching and for all my boss, uh, see you this Thursday at uh, 9 p.m. Paris hour. I'm going to make a special live painting for you uh, on the Ito Kenzo miniatures from Bushido the game. Thanks again and see you soon. Bye bye.